and we are putting this to the test. You can actually hear the carabiners creaking right there. Hello everyone, my name is Bo Shevisu. I am a top rated Amazon.com reviewer. These are my daughters Lucy and Penny. And this little hammock I did get off of Amazon. They do have a few similar type hammocks like this. I used an exact hammock like this, only it was blue, in Sierra Leone, West Africa. And I needed this netting to keep the mosquitoes off of me so that I wouldn't get malaria. And uh, you will note that on one side it zips all the way so it completely seals you off from malaria, <laughs> or at least the mosquitoes. Um, it does come with some black straps which I've tied into a loop. There's one, and then there's the other black strap. As you can see also, it comes with this twine, which threads through there, there, and there. So two long pieces of twine, and that keeps the mosquito netting off of your face so that it's not hitting you as you're sleeping. Because of course you don't want it to be resting on your face because then a mosquito will land on the netting and just stick the needle right through the netting, which I've seen before. before. It's, it's kind of eerie, something out of Jumanji. Last thing that I want to point out, it comes with this little pouch right here. Now the whole thing does fold up into this pouch, but I personally use this pouch when I'm sleeping and I just reach outside the little netting and I put my glasses in there, the earplugs, my flashlight, things like that. So yes, I did use this in Sierra Leone when I was doing some film work there. We run a nonprofit film studio that produces video for other nonprofits. It's the craziest job ever. So I was there with a wonderful ministry and uh, capturing impact and broadcasting love. And uh, yeah, I did not get malaria. So throughout the course of this inter this review, as you see Lucy and Penny have been trying to break it and so far it has not ripped <laughs> and if two toddlers cannot rip this hammock odds are you won't be able to either in case you're wondering i am 170 pounds it it held up for me one last little hint tip trick when you string this thing up don't string it up too tightly because if it's too tight it's gonna like basically Curl, curl your shoulders in. You want it to be somewhat loose, but not too loose. Yes, there's a whole subculture of hammocking devoted to camping with your hammock. And go have fun. There's amazing people out there who will guide you as to how you can get a nice, comfortable night's sleep with your hammock. Now, I'm going to go unzip this now and release them, even though they look like they're having a fine time. Oh, it does look like it's slowly going down. I don't think I tied that tight enough. I'm gonna go rearrange that guy. So that's it. I hope that this small little demonstration is helpful in determining whether or not this tent hammock is right for you. My name is Bo Shevisu, and I will see you around the world in Africa or on Amazon.com.